Hi there, this video is inspired by a great video by Pat Flynn about making awesome slide presentations. And what he did was at the top of each of his slides, he put these little circles uh, and at the start of a section of slides, he'd put a number in there. And as, as he went through his slides, when he got to a new section, the number would increment. So a few people in the comments on Pat's video just asked how he did that. So I thought I'd do this quick demo to show how it's done. So I'll just skip to a version of the PowerPoint deck that I was just showing you without the circles at the top. And I'll just choose the oval tool here and drag out an oval at the top of the first slide. It doesn't matter exactly what size it is. I can just type that in as one and a half centimeters across and then one and a half centimeters here too. So we're making a perfect circle. And if you happen to be working in inches, that's 0.6 of an inch you could make it. So what I want to do now is just uh, change the color and the fill of that. Um, and I'll get rid of the shape outline on it as well. So I'll just click here, choose no outline. And then let's make it just this orange color. But the key thing to do is to click this little arrow here um, at the bottom of the format effects. Just choose that and then drop down the fill area. And we want to make it about 80% transparent. So I'll just drag over to about 80% or so. There we go. So now with the shape selected, I'll just close this panel on the right again. Um, what I want to do is go to the Home tab and click the arrow next to Copy here over on the left and just duplicate that shape. And then I'll put this over on the right of the slide. And as you can see, I get arrows to help me line it up. I want to get it the same distance from the right edge as the first circle is from the left edge. And I've got that arrow in red on the right to show that it's the same distance apart. So that's great. That's exactly what I want there. Now what I'll go back and do is duplicate this first shape again. We've got five sections in this slide deck. And so I'm going to create a new for a few more shapes on the slide, just the same as this first one. The shorthand for duplicating an object once you've got it selected is just to press Control D. So I'll just do that a couple more times. And that gives me the five shapes in total for the five different sections of the slide. Now I'll just drag from behind or outside the slide there around all of the shapes I've got. And then we go to the Arrange menu here. I just want to put them all at the same distance from the top of the slide and line them up. So I'll go to Alignment down here and choose Align Top. And now I'll go to the same menu again, Arrange, Align and distribute horizontally so that puts them the same distance away from each other all the way across the slide. So they're nice and neat. Okay, so now having got those selected, what I'm going to do is just copy them. So I'll click on the copy button here and go to my next slide and paste them in. I can do that by clicking paste up here. Or you probably know the shortcut for that is just control V for paste. So I'll go to the next slide and control V, the fourth slide and control V again, and then down to the last slide and control V. Now what I want to do is number them. So in the first section, I'll just click on the first circle and I'll just type a one in there. And the font I'm using is a nice big bold font. So if I go to the home tab, you'll see it's Arial Black. And I've chosen 32 fonts for the font size, so it's nice and big. What uh, Pat did, though, also, just to make it stand out some more when it's a numbered uh, section on the slide, is change the shape fill back to black and then get rid of the transparency. So I'll click on this arrow again to format the shape and drag the slider back down to zero on the transparency. OK, cool. Now what I want to do is choose the Format Painter and I'll double click it because I want to reformat several different shapes to look the same as this first numbered one. So I'll double click Format Painter, go to the second slide, click the second 
circle, go to the third slide, click the, click the third circle, fourth slide, the fourth circle, and so on. And now all that remains to be done is to put the numbers in there. So on this last slide, I've got that's section five. Up on the fourth slide, that's section four. Three here. And two. And then we're done. So I'll just show you how this looks now if I start running the slideshow. So the first section is number one. Second section two, three, four, and five. So there you have it. I hope you found that useful. And I'll put a link to Pat's video and other resources in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching.